So if you don't know, I like to wear rings, and I don't have simple ones, I have a certain type of style. I started being passionate about rings about 2-3 years ago, but to be honest, I could always see myself wearing them. And today's video is gonna be about that, my ring collection. But yeah, let's start. Let me show you the ones I'm wearing right now. So first we got this one with a red eye. Then I got this one here, it's new, and I really like it. This is my new favorite. Then we got this one here, which is a dragon. And if you didn't know, it's my favorite mystical creature. And the combo of these is just red, 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 silver. Makes sense. Then this hand is basically perfect. These I'd wear pretty much every time I wear rings. So currently I have this one here. It's like fish, like a koi pond or something. This one here, it's called Laugh Now, Cry Later. It's from the shop The Great Frog in Soho. Then this one here and another dragon. What I used to do was have a silver and a gold hand but first let me show you the silver rings. So we got box number one. In this box we also have some necklaces. I only wear a few types of jewelry. <laughs> One sec. I only wear a few types of jewelry. Oh my god. There is one word I cannot say and it's this one. Jewelry. Oh my god. Jewelry. Jewelry. There we go. I wear earrings. I have a nose ring. Necklace. Sometimes bracelets. And obviously rings. So let's start with this one. Now this one is quite big and I like to pair it with other big rings. Otherwise it doesn't really make sense. But yeah all these were pretty cheap. I'll get onto the expensive ones later. We got this one here which is quite big as well. We got this dragon here. Another one. Yes I know. <laughs> but look it's so cool. And I I'm not a fan of skulls, but I have this one. It's the only one that if I were to wear a ring with a skull, it would have to be something like this. So we had dragons and skulls. Let's move on to cats. This one here is, is the best cat I found out of all the rings I've seen, which I don't really say this, but for about a month I spent a lot of time looking for rings. And I wanted one with a cat and I couldn't find any until I found this one. I also have a cat with a sombrero hat. It reminds me of Puss in Boots if you've seen the film. And then I've got a lion with a crown, very fancy. So I've shown you this eye. However, if I want, I've got other colors. I got this one, which is multicolor. Then I have blue and purple. I also have one with a brown eye on it. It kind of matches. <laughs> Some people find it creepy, but I quite like it. I've also got this one with hearts on it. It's really cool. Then I have this one. I bought this online from a shop called Etalove. It's basically the snake biting the apple. Then I've got this one and this one here. And some of these are adjustable, but the rest aren't. Then if you don't remember, last year, someone went viral for making a Spider-Man ring. And I bought it and I always love Spider-Man so that's why I got this. Then I have a few simple ones, these two here, but the rest are gothic or some strange style, I don't know how to explain. These three are my most expensive rings. I'm not gonna tell you the price but they were worth it. This one is very cool. No, I'm not a part of the Illuminati. I just really like how it looks. This one as well, you can see inside TGF for the Great Frog and this one as well. And silver necklaces, this is one, it's just a plain silver chain with a red guitar pick and another one, this was merch made by Joji, my favorite artist, from his song Run. Before I move on to gold, this is one bracelet, it's just a chain, and this next one is very cool. Another dragon. <laughs> Can you tell I love dragons? So moving on to silver and other colors. Here's the box. <laughs> so I have black, the rest is silver, then there's a bit of a mix at the top. I'll show you this one. So this one here is meant to be another animal, meant to be a scorpion. I think it's very cool. I need to get more longer rings, because I've only got these two. So this one was the first ever ring I had to my collection, and this is actually actually an NFC ring. If you don't know what that is, basically I could link a card to this ring and just tap it and it would work. But I just use it because it looks cool and I don't feel safe attaching my bank card to this. But yeah. Next one, we've got this which is sort of a replica of the Harry Potter Horcrux and I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Then we got this one here which you might recognize because I used it for a series on my channel years ago. This I bought on the beach, it was one euro. This one I got recently, it's like night and day. Then another black and white. And this one, which is kind of big. Then, other colored ones. We got one with a rainbow. This one, orange, I bought in Paris. This one's pink and orange. And this one I love, it's a little bow. Then this one made from wood. Then I guess I'll just show you the simple ones. These I don't really wear, but I have them in case I ever feel like it. Simple one in black, silver, gold, and green. Now I'm moving on to the rest of the gold ones, which I'd say are quite fancier, as you can see. We got this shiny one. Although if you notice, I don't really like shiny. This one I bought in Paris as well, to match this other one. Then I always wanted this one, a letter B. This one's on my thumb, I really like it. This nice red one, this one here. Then this, this is a coin of Queen Elizabeth. Then another shiny one, this one I think is too fancy. And the final gold ones, this one here, which is the same as this silver one, I couldn't decide. We got this animal, I think I called him Steve. I paid 50p for this, I couldn't just leave him there. This one here is too fancy. And finally we got a nice sunshine. Then I got this necklace and one with the cross, but 
That's not all of them. Of course I have a reject pile and it's on this cat. These I basically never really wear for reasons if they don't fit, they turn my fingers green, but I keep them because they look good. So we got some more eyes. These two turn my finger green, which is why I have the other brown one. And these two are just different eye colors, but they came with the brown one, so I had to have them. Okay, maybe five eyes at once is quite creepy. This one here had a smiley face, but it turned my finger green. This one here is so nice, but it's about to break. So I either have to be very careful or don't wear it at all. This one is amazing for photos, but it doesn't really fit any of my fingers. Then this one here, I'm not sure why it's in the reject pile. I think because it fits when it's warmer or colder, but I really like it. It's got waves on it. And these two were also my first ones, which I bought with this one on the beach, this one here, and this one. But technically speaking, these were the first rings that I had, but the very first one is this one. And you'll never guess where this is from. This ring is from a fidget spinner. I opened it and it just came off. So I just decided to wear it, but yeah how things have changed. <laughs> I hope you like this video. My ring collection is obviously going to expand, but right now it feels very complete. But wait, there's more. My collection is very complete. However, there has been one ring that I always wanted and I finally have it. But before that, let me show you this other cool one I have. This one's a picture ring from the Queen's Gambit, as you can see, and I really like it. And yeah, this is the only picture ring I have. So yeah, I forgot to show this one when I filmed the video. However, in this hand, I have my dream ring. It's been something I wanted for so many years and the meaning is very important to me. Are you ready? The last ring to make my collection complete is this one. I literally just got this and I'll explain the meaning. It's basically the letter B and the number 13 which is like a big year for me. It's when I started making videos, when my life had like a turning point and now I finally have it forever on my hand. But yes, now my collection of rings is complete.